Okay, in this video we're going to prove a couple of lemmas that will get us towards proving the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, um, which will be in a future video. So in this one we're going to prove that if P divides the product AB, then P divides A or P divides B. And I should say here that P is prime and that um, A and B are any natural numbers. Okay, good. So um, we're going to start the proof by assuming that P does not divide one of them. So we have a couple of cases here. We could have P does not uh, divide A, P does not divide B, or P divides both. And so what we're going to show is that if P does not divide one of them, then it must divide the other one. So let's start with that. So let's suppose that P does not divide A, and so what we're going to end up with is that P does divide B. Um, okay, good. So if P does not divide A, then since P is a prime number, we know the GCD of A and P is equal to 1. Good. And since we know the GCD of A and P equals 1, um, we know there exist um, integers x and y such that ax plus py equals 1. And so if you were given numbers a and p, well, you would find uh, this x and y using the extended Euclidean algorithm, but we just need the existence of them. Okay, good. So uh, that's uh, one fact that we have. Another fact that we have is that P divides AB. And so we can say since P divides AB, um, there is some D, which is an integer, such that um, P times D equals AB. Okay, good. And so that's just the definition of divisibility, the definition of A, B d being divisible by D. So A, B is a multiple of P. Okay, good. So now we want to put these two equations together. So this equation and this equation. <clears throat> and what we want to do is um, root out uh, A, B term in here. So we'll take this entire equation and multiply it by B. And so that'll give us an A, B term. So let's do that. Um, so maybe we'll say notice that B times AX plus P, PY equals B. So that's just uh, multiplying that whole equation AX plus PY equals 1 by B. Um, but now notice that will give us A times B X plus P times BY um, equals B. Good. But now by our assumption that P divides AB and how we use that to construct the second equation, we can replace AB with P times D. So that's what we'll do. So P times DX plus P times BY equals B. And now notice I'm freely reassociating as needed. Good. And so next, we notice that we can factor a P out of the left-hand side of this equation. So we can write P times DX plus BY equals B. And so let's look what we did. We found a multiple of P which is equal to B. And so what that means is that P divides B. Okay, good. So that's the end of the proof of this lemma. So um, in the next video, we'll do a proof of an extension of this lemma. And then finally, we'll apply these two to prove the fundamental theorem of arithmetic.